Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And yes, welcome to WWE 2K20, my career mode. It's a new year. It's a new my career. You guys know that every year I look forward to doing these for you guys. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. And regardless of some of the issues that exist in this game, I'm still excited to play through this because like I said, my career is just, it's my favorite thing every year. However, we got some good news and we got some bad news. Uh, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is the, okay, where do I start? The logo uploader is currently broken. It doesn't work. So you can't upload uh, your own custom logos, your own custom face photo. Well, you can upload it, but you can't download it in the game. That feature is currently broken at this point. Also, uh, I'm hearing that there is a glitch. I think it's only on PS4, but if you put any logos on your created superstar, the My Career won't load properly. So, <laughs> with all that being said, uh, I did have to make some adjustments, obviously, to our characters here. It doesn't have my face on it like it usually does, but hopefully that's something they fix fairly soon so that moving forward in the series, we can add that stuff in. The good news, however, is I'm still going to bust my ass and bring you the best possible career mode that I can bring you. I heard there's a lot of wacky stuff, a lot of wild stuff this year, so it should be fun to run through either way. Even if it's a bit of a mess, we can still have fun with a mess. So I need you guys to do me one huge favor, though. And that is hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can if you're excited for this year's My Career series. Not sure. They said it's like 25 hours. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. Hopefully it's uh, fairly decently long. Let's go for, I forgot how many I asked for last year. 15,000 likes? That's really high. And that's really crazy. You know what? Let's make it 17,000 likes. I don't know if we can do it. I don't, I don't think. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? But... Without further ado, folks, Chris Danger and Brooke Danger have returned for WWE 2K20, my career. It's time to do it. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Here we go, Money... Oh, why, are you looking, why are you looking at Charlie? Money in the Bank ladder match. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. We got Brooke Danger, nicknamed Red. And we got Chris Danger, nicknamed Trey. We will uh, connect those dots when the time is right. But for now, we, we're going to work with what we got. As you can see, Brooke Danger in the ring. Brooke is more of a striker. She is a badass. She is a fighter. And Chris Danger, a little more of a technician. He kind of does it all. He mixes up a little bit of everything in his moveset. But we got to get Ronda to yellow health. This is not about Trey right now. This is about Brooke Danger, a.k.a. Red. Oh my God! The kick to the back of the head of Ronda Rousey. Bianca getting that, uh, getting that ladder in the middle of the ring. We got to keep an eye on that body slam to Ms. Rousey. Uh oh, Bianca setting that up. She wants to do some damage right now. Hard strike, not really hard from <laughs> from Brooke. Strike Ronda while standing in the ring. All right, we got to get back in the ring. We got Ronda, Charlotte, Zelina Vega, Shayna Baszler. And Bianca Belair. And Bianca's going for that. Bianca's going for that briefcase. We got to stop her. Zelina, do something. Back in the ring we go. All right. Very unfortunate that uh, that we couldn't get these. Oh, God. We couldn't get these face pictures. But it is what it is. Hopefully, over the, maybe over the next couple of days, sometime this week, they hopefully will fix that little issue. But we're not going to worry about it right now. Oh, God. Ronda with the quick strikes. Look at this. Taking Brooke down. Elbow to the arm. We just got to strike her. I just got to get up. That's all I got to do. I just got to get up off the ground. Get your back up off the wall. Oh. Ronda picks up Brooke. Nope. You thought you missed. Here I go. It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. 
And Red and Lana come crashing down. It's an absolute free for all to see who's going to get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. All snap. We cleared the ring. I got to get Ronda to Red Health. Help me, Ronda. Oh, she's got those quick strikes. Jesus. Here she comes. But I'm ready. I'm ready for her. You thought. Bam. Hit her on the leg. Come here. Body slam to Rousey. Let's do some damage. You picked the wrong woman to mess with. Look at Brooke Danger. How about this? Sit out power bomb. She got some strength in her. She is a badass. And she does not back down from a fight. Not against Ronda, not against any woman. In this business. Irish whip Ronda into the corner. Don't mind if I do. What's going to happen? I guess we'll circle back to it. <laughs> Cliffhanger in episode one. Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just <sighs> get it out of there. No one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind, but don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. <laughs> this is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it, and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. He's literally about to murder this man. <laughs> You're taking it a little far here, Red. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is gonna do all that? No. <laughs> We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game. Guess what Mr. Bowman's sweat stains look like today? I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. 
Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. <laughs> Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. Oh. What are you two fartwads <laughs> doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <sighs> that was a huge mistake. <laughs> uh -oh. Ooh. Oh snap! You mess with the wrong set of friends slash siblings slash. We'll connect the timeline at some point. <laughs> and just like that, we are in a match. Now I mentioned this in uh, in the first look video when I did the like the little preview of my career. I it would have been really cool if you if y'all just fought in the cafeteria. Like that would be really sweet. Like surrounded by all the all the kids in the class and everything. And, you know, you could put maybe put somebody through one of the lunch tables, hit somebody with a food tray, etc., etc. But for some reason, here we are on Raw is War from like 1998. And it is what it is. Brooklyn Von Braun. We got to get her to red health. Let's see if we can get the job done. Why can't I? What? Why? Why can't I reverse? <laughs> why is there no reverse icon popping up? There it is. That was kind of weird. All right, Brooke. Bam, bam, Brooke Danger. One of the baddest women on the planet. And Chris Danger, of course, in her corner, proudly supporting his friend slash sibling and adopted sibling. Let's go with that. Let's go with adopted sibling. That probably works the best. Here we go, Brooke. With that sit-out power bomb. You ain't going nowhere, Brooklyn Bomb Braun. Still in your high school sweater. That's what you wear to the ring. I mean, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans. Don't worry about me. Here we go. Look at that. And a strike. Take that, Brooklyn. Named after a city. Oh, God. Need of the midsection. Ms. Von Bronski. Oh, went for the step up in Zaguri. Caught the leg. She got no reversals. She got no reversals. Bye-bye, Brooklyn. Out of the ring you go. Oh. Strike Brooklyn while standing in the ring. My pleasure. Brooklyn might have an opening here. <laughs> gets with these sliding lunch tray Yikes. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture Ooh. perfect moonsault. That's it. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. That's what happens when you make fun of Red. About everything that just happened, guys. Well, you pay dearly. Head, Byron. Here in this fictional scenario, instead of a lunchroom, in 1999 on Monday Night Raw. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold-out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, 
That day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Uh-oh. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? That was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed hot head red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, uh, deep asking breath, that same question. we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> Now her face matches her nickname. <laughs> Y'all really made Chris Danger a doofus, and I am not happy about it. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait, that's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right though. You got a second chance in life and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. I don't know how he's keeping that backpack on with those straps about 16 inches off his body. Oh, look, Chris Danger reached a new level. Level three, trophy earned, road trip, 1300 BC. People, we are on our way. Where are we going? Not entirely sure. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? No, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... 16339. He said it in the cutscene, and I heard it this time. I'm so smart. Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt.
I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. <laughs> Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. <laughs> the Rock is the president. That's actually amazing. That's a cool little, little addition there. I appreciate that. My career hub. You are now in a my career hub. Use left thing, cycle through the thing, press the, yeah, we know what to do here. We can talk to people. We can switch between who we are. We got AJ Styles, we got Natalia, and we can leave the lobby. Let's talk to AJ real quick. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. Mm -hmm. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Sure was. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match... Now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's gonna rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Sure doesn't. Play the match, don't play the match. I'd love to <sighs> reminisce some more, but I should get going since my jaw barometer's telling me it's about to sprinkle. Good seeing you, AJ. I want to get through with the story a little bit. So we're just going to have a conversation with these folks and then get to the next part of the story. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. Play the brawl, don't play the brawl. Eh, we're we gonna skip that one too. We some crazy stuff over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. The the side matches, from what I've been told, really have no bearing on the story whatsoever. So we'll do we'll do some of the side matches as the series goes on, but right now I wanna I wanna just go through and play a little bit more of the story. So we're gonna leave the lobby and we got a cutscene. Hey, it's X Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. <laughs> I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. <laughs> you were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. This man said drizzled craps. <laughs> you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean... A big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, 
Drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. Sorry, Mama. I'm not going to school. I'm training to be a wrestler. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Lies. Huh. Why are you lying? Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Back in the My Career Hub, but this time we are inside the car. Red, keep driving to Calgary. Red, keep driving to Calgary. Let's talk to Red. Let's see what she's got to say. All right. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and play this one. I picked Bret Hart in the, in the preview episode, so I'm thinking either Jake or Roddy Piper. Let's go with the late great Rowdy Roddy Piper. That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? Funny you say that. I can't imagine. Ooh, look at that graininess. Here on Raw is War. You know, the ring that Rowdy Piper fought in so many times. The one and the only Chris Danger is back. Sort of, because this is just an imaginary fight that didn't actually happen, won't actually happen, so it is what it is. Yeah! Say my name! <laughs> Show the people what's up! The new and improved? Question mark? I wouldn't say improved yet. We got a little bit of work to do, but luckily we got a long series ahead of us. Plenty of time to add on to this and turn this man from a doofus into a WWE Hall of Famer. Looking pretty badass for a doofus. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Looking pretty cool for a doofus. This grainy ass arena. <laughs> they made it super, super grainy this year. Like more so than usual. A little annoying, but it's all good. Look at that. Proud as a peacock. He has every right to be. Let it sink in, everybody. Get a good look. The man is back. Prepare the throne. Watch out for the king. All right, Roddy. It's me and you. Check him out. The rowdy one. Roddy Piper. Danger going toe to toe with an absolute legend. One of the greatest of all time. Gone way too soon. The late great Rowdy Roddy Piper. All right, Roddy. This is just my imagination, so we can skip entrances. And without further ado, Piper, Danger. I only got two reversals. It's him with that knee. Piper's got four reversals. 
Your boy's only got two. So we're going to have to try to make sure. Uh-oh. Grabbing him here. What's this? Look at this. Flipping over Roddy Piper. Kick to the lower back. We have to do some upgrades fairly soon. Irish whip to Piper. Grabs him. Oh, no, he doesn't. Close line missed. Not quick enough, Rowdy. Oh, you got to be quicker than that. Oh, went for a super kick. Was denied clothesline from Piper. Jesus. But look at this. Danger. Raking on the eyes. But a big strike to the midsection. And a sling blade to take down the Rowdy one. Oh, he used the, the, the uh, what is it? The peacock thing. The uh, possum. The possum. That's what it is. Not a peacock. It's a possum. Oh, and I got no reversals. So I got to take this booty whooping from Rowdy Roddy Piper at the moment. When I was a kid, I called him, I called him Roddy Roddy Piper. Like I just said his first name twice. <laughs> oh, the good old days. All right, Pipe, you thought. Big reversal, forearm. No objectives here, it's just a side match. Super kick, oh, look at this. Straight into the German suplex. What a combination move. Dangerous, feeling it. Get in this ring, Piper. Get in this ring. Here we go. Take him down. Body slam. We're gonna go ahead and get on this second rope because we don't have the top rope diver yet. <laughs> we don't have the top rope scale. Look at that! From the middle rope. Piper might have bitten off a little more than he can chew here. Oh, and for that combination move again. Danger ducks under. How about this? Dropping Piper. Uh oh, he's got his second payback. Uh oh, <laughs> Piper's got his got both of his paybacks. And I got no reversals. Got to be real careful here. Come here, Pipe. Again, Sling Blade. Danger feeling it. He said that's it. Pump away. What is that other payback that he has? I don't know what that, what that icon is. But regardless, Danger connects with the super kick. Right on the money. One, two. Oh, a kick out. A kick out from Piper. All right, Roddy. Here it comes. He's got I appreciate you. I respect you. But you're about to meet your final calling. Oh, no, you reversed it. Oh, and it was the double one, too. So now I can't reverse. Oh, son of a poop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Help. He's got a finisher. Help. Piper letting this young lad. Uh-oh. Big right hand. Roddy, go, he's going on the top rope. He's going on the top rope. Roddy's going to fly. Roddy's going to fly. No way. What's he doing all the way up there? Oh, elbow drop to the back. Here comes Piper. No. Danger with a big time reversal. Irish whip to the corner. Drop kick to the back. Misses. Close line. Misses. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, geez. So, missing the super kick. Oh, Roddy misses. What's going on? Irish whip. Got him out of the ring. Grab him. Chris, grab him. What is this? No, 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 no. Power bomb to the outside. Danger, oh, he's stuck. Danger asserting some dominance here. Go ahead, ref, count. Count that man. It's like, come here. Come here, ref. Ha. Hey, like that. Yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing about it. Referee's not gonna do nothing about it. And clothesline. Taking Piper down. How about one more super kick? Y'all wanna see it? Y'all wanna see it? Boop! I think he busted him open. One, two. Oh, again, Piper kicks out. Jesus. This man does not want to go down. Can we hit the final calling this time? Yes. Final calling on Roddy Piper. And danger has done it. Whew. Roddy put up a good fight. 
Brady gave me a little bit of a scare there. Reversing the finisher. Whooping my booty, but at the end of the day, he has fallen to the danger. He's back, y'all. And he's ready to do the damn thing. At the risk of getting ahead of myself, if this guy keeps winning matches like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello, uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Bret's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So, Brett's not home? No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens, like, once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea. Uh-oh, he's got an idea. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm. Oh snap, the Riley Flash Training Academy is where we are. That's where Chris and Brooke learn to become wrestlers. It's not torture if you're paying for it. I can imagine how much these lessons cost. Look at this ring, the duct tape all over it. And how about El Mago Jr. making his return? Oh, following in the footsteps of his daddy. Not that I know El Mago or have ever had interaction with him because we reset the story every year. And that's just the way that it is. Josie Jane. You. Oh, God. Wait, I'll tell you in a second. You are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Irish whip to the corner from Josie. Big chop. But a chop right back. Brooke didn't appreciate that at all. And here comes Brooke Danger. How about this? Ooh. Taking down Josie. How you feel about that, Josie? Hmm? How you like that? How you like me now? Step up in Seguri Mist. Oh, rolled out of the way of that. Come here, Miss Jane. Dropping her down. 
Yeah, get her to red health. She's already almost there. Waste that reversal. Waste it. Waste it. Waste it. Waste it. Waste it. She's not wasting it. <laughs> Alert. She is not wasting it. Kick to the stomach. God, these strikes from Brooke Danger have some oomph behind them. Uh-oh. Another reversal after reversal. Here comes Brooke with a Thez press. And the big right hands on Josie. Come on, Mago. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Mago? Nothing. Nothing. Boop. Take that man down. <laughs> I don't think you can do that as a male, but I'm pretty sure you can do that as a female, which is pretty dope. Northern Lights suplex. And Brooke putting on a clinic here. You like that, Riley? She's ready for this. She was born for this business. Another one. And she is at red health. Perform a grapple against Josie Jane while standing in the ring. Come here, Josie. I'm gonna grab you. Oh my god. <laughs> Behind you! Oh dear. Oh Get god. your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. Come on, Chris. So close. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Look at Riley's pants. I have so many questions. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, <laughs> what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. <laughs> Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? <laughs> nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch. <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? 
Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. Trey, because it's a three count and it's a... So, okay. <laughs> People, will make it work one way or another. I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Much more WW2K20, my career coming your way. Thank you guys so much for your support through all these years, through all these different series. You guys keep coming back, especially for the my career. Like, it, it always it always does great, and I'm always so grateful for that. Uh, so make sure you keep coming back, showing your support. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an episode. Going to be a long series. Buckle up. I hope you're looking forward to it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!